Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Where I'm on my fourth video of the day. <laughs> I'm trying to get like 14. Oh, we'll see it. We'll see how that goes. But we're doing well. I can't scan. Some of the ones I think some of the ones you land on you can also scan. Did we already look at all these? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Athens. I was gonna go make lunch, and then I was like, eh, because all I have is like ramen and mac and cheese. And I'm trying to eat out less. <laughs> trying to save money because I don't have a job. Well, my job is sort of on hiatus right now, and I'm like, eh. So feel free, hopefully by this point I'll put out a video, but feel free to support me on Patreon so I don't die. <laughs> and I can get gas so that I can drive around places. Um, but, geological properties of Salamis have been scanned from orbit, but little is known about it. Uh, I'm just kidding, by the way. I know it's been a rough, like, year and a half for everybody, but I guess I'm not just kidding, but... If you do, I don't know. Words. I don't know how to self-promote. It feels weird. Anyway. Yeah, there is a link to my Patreon. Maybe I'll put it in the description of the videos. Maybe I'll do that, but I guess we can do that. Um, and if, as I probably have said before, if there's any feedback on how I can do better on it, let me know. Anyway, <laughs> a little else known about it due to its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere, proximity to the energetic star Athens, the equatorial daytime temperature has been known to turn the surface molten. What a place! Close of iron with deposits of platinum group metals. Can you imagine looking at the surface of a planet that was molten? Survey, gas deposit, has a large amount of free oxygen. Free oxygen, it's free. Free real estate. Um, I have, I have to like turn my head a little bit away from the mic during all of this. I hope, I hope it sounds all right, because my the way my headset is. Oh, it's so short. Like, the Hanar home world proteins has more than 90% oceanic cover. This incredible, the incredible heat thrown off of Athens raises global temperature, global humidity to 100%, creates constant cloud cover, and powers colossal typhoons. Hot, humid, and storm rack produce a rare combination of oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, and carbon-based biosphere. I must recommend it for colonization. A pilot program is studying the possibility of colonies below the ocean surface. <gasps> That would be so dope. I mean, you can still get the sunlight. Like, humans require sunlight to function, like, mentally and physically, you know? Like, we need we need some sunlight. So you don't have to go, like, super deep or anything. Oh, I was gonna grab a soda while I was out there. Nausicaa! Nausicaa! Yay! I love that movie. If you haven't watched Studio Ghibli's Nausicaa, I highly recommend it. Hi, it's one of my favorites. It's not one of the most popular ones, I think, or one of the most like well known, like Spirited Away, um, well, Totoro. Like Spirited Away is definitely was a big one, but Princess Mononoke and Nausicaa, well, also Castle in the Clouds or in the Sky, Castle in the Sky. I really like those ones. They're my favorites. Anyway, <laughs> traces of sodium in the atmosphere get Nausicaa its overall dark gray color, but it is otherwise a typical hydrogen heating gas giant. An abundance of water vapor accounts for the white clouds. Cersei, an excellent book. I highly recommend <laughs> No, for reals, though. It's Cersei written by... Oh, shoot, what's her name? She's written another... She wrote... Oh my gosh, she wrote the Patroclus one. The Achilles and Patroclus one. Um, mm -hmm. Madeline Miller. Madeline? Madeline? Madeline Miller. Uh, very, very good book about, like, uh, sort of a, a, the... The woman who was only briefly mentioned as having, like, seduced Odysseus and kept him on the island for, like, seven years. It's her story as sort of imagined from what little context we have from her and, like, how this woman imagines a person like Cersei would would live and react, you know, to certain things. And, like, sort of, I guess, like, a retelling or, like, a remake of some sort. And it's really, really good. It's a really powerful read, in my opinion. 
I enjoyed it a lot and can't wait for whatever else she puts out. Cersei is a moderately sized factory named Gas Giant. Survey. Cersei will likely end up be, be developed. Also, I like zooming in and looking at the beautiful planets. Like, even when it was Mass Effect 1, not Legendary Edition, like the Legacy Edition, like, I loved looking at the close ups. I always thought they, look, always thought they looked really nice. Anyway, that was easy. That's Athens for you. No. Go back to the Citadel. How many, how many do we have to drop off? No, not the one. We have unusual readings. No, sorry. We have the other one that's not unusual readings. We have one that's similar to unusual readings and and that one. So do a talk to the dude, to the guy whose name sounds like he's from Spirit Away, and Nasana. I don't think we had much else to drop off. Look how gorgeous it is! Supposedly constructed by long and steep Protheans, they're like, if you're paying attention, we're telling you all the clues. Oh, I can't say too much. <laughs> Look at my ship! I love it so much. Also, I know some people, well, I don't know. I think some people did find it tedious to have to walk in and out of your ship, but I greatly enjoy it. Like, I like being, like, you land at a place and then you walk out. Like, I don't know, it makes it feel more lived in, I guess. More, like, not realistic necessarily, but like, real, like it's not the word I'm necessarily looking for. Equalizing but. interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. But I do think it is. Logged. The commanding officer is a Less jarring. Exo Presley has the deck. Like it's less jarring. Oh yeah, Mikhailovich. Yeah, hi. Anyway. Rear Admiral Mikhailovich, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I gotta, I gotta play it nice. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is? What is Shepard? your problem? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin. Don't insult my ship! I, yeah, the, secretly, I'm actually just a little ball of rage. But, um, I picked Paragon. I had somebody once say, well, why don't you just pick the ones that are, like, your knee-jerk reactions? I'm like, because in what... Because I can say, yeah, in my head, I'd be, like, angry, you know? But, like, I don't want to be that kind of person. I want to be the kind of person that reacts, like, with, like, you know, cleverness and, like... Uh, not not turning the other cheek by any means, but like standing your ground, but with like, you know, manners, like politeness, kindness, I don't know, but like a, a steadiness that like is not inherent in like knee-jerk angry reactions, you know, like, yeah, I might want to yell, but like in real life and in the game, like I don't want to be that kind of person that just knee-jerk yells, like I want to be the kind of person that thinks about what I say before I say it, you know? The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But you don't... But no. We had to make nice... You can't just hit nails with a hammer all the time. A boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Like... It's just this, this is the kind of guy that sees every problem as a nail and like his solution's a hammer. He's like, 
bigger, better, oh, compensation for, uh, I don't, <laughs> you know, like, it's like, this is a stealth ship, he's obviously not, like, a stealth man, you know, like, he's, he's not the kind of guy that, like, he's like, well, that's, like, dishonorable, or whatever, I don't know, but it's like, there are situations that require different tools. The Normandy is a different tool from a heavy cruiser and does different things doesn't mean it's supposed to like prevent things before they happen whereas heavy cruisers can only show up in situations that things have already happened you know besides we'll see later the normandy is not too bad in an open fight so there we'd be honored to show her to you admiral i'll just bet wait here i won't be long. i don't know why a higher ups also feel the need to beat jerks all the time commander i'm not happy what did you find out of order who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters? He's thought money? about this. What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. You're an idiot. <laughs> like, this ship is not... He can come in and complain all he wants, too, but he has actually no, like, no real jurisdiction to take my ship away from me, you know? Also, do your read history is an excellent answer. I love that one. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a Yeah, I'm a warship. different sort of thing! We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to You the need battle. information to and do a war! To talk about your crew. But to do a war properly, don't. Krogan? Don't even. Assault. Don't even. Torians? What they helped make the ship! Out? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. That, that the very, it has always kind of been a little odd to me that, that we don't have like a Turian contingent. They're like, yeah, we helped build it. And then they don't get anything out of it. They don't even get to use the ship that they helped build. You know, like, I guess they have like the designs and can like make one of their own at some point. But like, we should have some Turians on board. And we only have one. And only because I picked him up, but like a stray. <laughs> <laughs> Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been. If we're yet. dicks, you they're not going to work with say, us. Commander, any other justifications for the state of this? No! <laughs> Dang! Why? I have like a, I have like a, I have all my points in charm that I thought I. Oh my gosh! Damn. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good well, morning, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. At least there's that. I don't, I don't. I don't quite remember how it ends. If you're able to like paragon your whole way through, but huh. how what? Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. Um. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore <laughs> opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Alright, if you want to explore opportunities in the military, so you also can go out and die protecting people instead of fulfilling other dreams that you may or may not have had. Ah, uh, we gotta save before this one. There's two kinds of journalists. There's the good kind, and then there's the bad kind. Police have been seen in Aljalani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? 
So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Uh huh. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. Only 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? Mm, You've been yep. given command of an advanced human warship for your mission. Humanitarian! Is there anything you'd like to say about yeah. it? Yeah. Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance? Yes! Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? <laughs> Like, the Alliance also has the access to that data, you know what I mean? That not everything can be just, like, out in the open for everybody. Like, I get it, like, there's, like, a line there, but, like, there are certain things are classified for good reasons. Some things are classified for bad reasons, and they need, they need to be, like, unclassified. They need to be, like, shown to the public, you know? But, like, if, if you want us to be successful militarily, like, we can't just, like, throw the public all our information so that every single enemy everywhere is like, mm, yeah, okay, cool, we'll just download and PDF these uh, plans for the Normandy and we'll know exactly where to hit her, you know, like. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now. That's Commander. what people have wanted! <laughs> Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Uh, time to shut you up. Yeah, you can just, I think you can punch her. I think you can punch her in every game. I'm not sure. Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's surprising, Commander. The official line says that Eden Prime was attacked by rogues. Well, nobody told me that. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Anyway, she's pushy and likes to rewrite things for her own goals. Um, let's go, actually. Was it? I don't think it was this one. What's over here? Oh, it is an elevator. Okay, I want to go to the Spectre office. I think we actually haven't gone to this guy since I was turned into a Spectre, so it's always kind of fun. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry. I'm Commander. done. Just show me what you've got. Mm -hmm. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Thank you. Ooh, yes. Oh, they're so expensive. I really don't need... Let's see... Sell all junk? What? How do I classify something as junk? And why won't it let me sell this stuff? I don't understand. Oh. That's right. Okay. It's not hit the sell button again, it's just the category you have to hit except. Okay, I'm gonna just sell one of those. So. Uh, 
I just don't want to get caught up too much in this at all. Give me, when do I get to freaking level up and give me a armor? Oh my gosh, it's, well, I think if I get four points next time, I'll be able to unlock medium armor, which would be dope. Oh, or I had to choose between medium armor or lift. It's okay. I'll get medium armor so I can finally equip it. Let's go. Where do I want? No, I don't want to go to the docking bay. I want to go to Presidium first. Well, actually, both of them are in the Presidium. We'll go to the tower and talk to Kahoku. What up? No, I'm waiting to speak. Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. I'm just on everybody's beck and call. Don't worry about it. La la la. Give me the freaking armor. Ah, give me armor. This opens up so many options. And they all suck. They're all garbage. Well, they're not, uh, they're not, like, terrible, but the tech and biotic protection, I guess they can supplement that. Here, let's... Ooh, I do like the look of the Guardian. Oh, the liber I swear this one was, like, a bright yellow before. Maybe it's Survivor. Yeah, this one was, like, it was, I used to be, like, a highlight color. I think they've changed them a bit. This looks almost like the, shoot, was it, like, one of the three gangs that you sh that show up in, like, Mass Effect 2? It's kind of like it. And then, and then there's this one, which I just, it's just the most, it's very impractical. <laughs> it's not the worst, it's just... I don't know. I think, I think what irks me is that they put the they put the like the like the first like warrior woman that you meet, Ashley, in pink and white armor. They're like, look, she's a woman, and I'm like, we could tell because you make boob armor. <laughs> like, calm down, you know. Like, I don't know. It's just it just seemed excessive to me and just like very pointed when it didn't need to be. Plus, like, I can't see Ashley being, like, I think Ashley in Mass Effect 3 would perhaps, like, be, like, chill with, like, you know, pink without feeling, like, internalized misogyny or whatever. But, like, I think in 1, she's still a bit on edge. <laughs> oh, what do I want? Shields or damage? It's not that much more damage protection. And I like the Guardian armor, so. Armor plating. I need this one protection against both biotic and tech attacks it's not much but it's something and I like this armor I don't have anything Krogan armor is a lot easier to get the turret or uh, than quarian armor but still this is just ridiculous do that. What was it? Decryption? That I was too low on at one point? I should probably give her some more pistol. But, but I like this. Electronics and decryption up as 
Well, fairly high. Do I... Yeah. Freaking... There was no way for me to have, like, maxed out my charm anymore. There may have been, like, a couple, like, instances that I've missed for charm for up here. Because it's a combination of this and this. Um, for, like, your options. I just think I, I encountered him too early. So I couldn't full paragon my way out. Not that they... I mean, they can still... They could definitely be like, hey... We're gonna mess you up, because I am still Alliance, but I think they could. Technically, the ship is still, like, I am still Alliance, and the ship is still Alliance, so they can cause problems for me, but but I have some, some immunity because me being um, a Spectre is good for humans overall. I want to go back to the embassies. We'll get to see. I feel like she might be like, haha, you did my dirty work without even knowing. And I'm gonna be like, Nyeh. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped ah, by slavers. It's like, no. Dahlia's dead, Nasana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It would be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari oh. mods. Oh! I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure so doing this one, this, So this way works out a little better, actually. You still get money for doing it. <laughs> um... But the other way, uh, yeah, she's like, oh, no, she's been kidnapped by slavers, and it must be then that she's like, no, you've done my dirty work, haha. -ha. So that's nice, we did that. <laughs> oh, oh. I think that was all I needed to do on the Citadel for now. Sorry, writings. Okay. Maybe we'll go do that. Maybe in the next one. Oh, we could do... Let's go do that. Maybe really... Ah, oh, do I have time? I don't... I think I think I do not. I think I do not have time if I want to keep these reasonable. But uh, we can go drop that off. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying. And I hope to see you in the next one.